Hey, hey, yarn. Uh, see, I've finally been uh, finally been sponsored. Someone took pity on me and my media request to send me alcohol. Uh, it's appreciated, but I, think I might be taking the piss a little bit with this bottle size. I mean, 1.6 standard drinks. It's barely breakfast. I suppose we should sober up anyway. The Prime Minister says it's time we all got to, you know, get back to work. We got to, we got to get back out from under the doona. Fuck. Jesus, he asks a lot, but fuck. All right, all right, for the, for, for Scotty, sure. Ah. Ah. Fuck, that's exhausting. God, slave driver, Jesus Christ. Hmm. I don't know, I mean, everyone wants to know when, when can things go back to how they were before? When, when can we go back to how they were before? Why about people's short memories here? How they were before? Do you remember what was before? We couldn't even go for walks in our own suburb like we can with these restrictions because we couldn't breathe the air. We went weeks when we didn't even see the sun here in Sydney. Going back like we were before, what, so when instead of depressing news everywhere about COVID-19, we had depressing news about methane bubbling up to the top of the, the ocean, which, let's face it, is either a sign that a long dormant giant sea monster is about to reawaken and stalk the earth, posing an existential threat to human civilization, or is ocean temperatures causing the methane to dissolve in the ocean floor and bubble up to the top and causing the emissions of a far worse greenhouse gas and carbon dioxide, thus posing an existential threat to human civilization. I mean, either way, there's not the whiskey in the world that's going to deal with that. Jesus. How things were before. And when we think about it, we don't want to go back to how things were before. What do we need to change? What do we need to do? Look, I'm not going to pretend I've got the answers in a short video when I've, you know, this is going to take time out of my day itself. So the one thing I think we should think about when we, we think about these things, though, it's just food for thought. Since 1988, 70% of the entire of the world's greenhouse gas emissions have been emitted by 100 companies. That's 100 companies have been responsible. So at the very least, we know who to kill. Corporate power. We, we kill corporate power. I don't know if ASIO is watching. We have to kill corporate power before it kills the planet. <sighs> All right. I'm going to have to go back to work. I might have to, might have to neck this one. Oh. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Am I going to dance again like I did last video? No, 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 I'm not. No, I'm not. I've, uh, I don't regret it though, I don't. If, you, if I can't dance, it's not my revolution. Emma Goldman, yeah, look her up. She was a sick Spice Girl before they sold out and went mainstream. If you wanna be my lover, you gotta smash a capitalist state. How that song used to go before they changed it to appease the man. All right, stay, stay safe and socially distanced and um, I'll, I'll, I'll see, you, see you next time.